Bunch of thieving jerks! What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Hmm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, Upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. This is the funnest piece of paper I've ever had. What? You forgot to bust skinny boots or whatever? Almost caught! <laughs> Son, what's that on you? Come on! See ya! Eat more, Moose Nerd Lover! How do you like dead ones? Here's the score. <laughs> yeah. Stop that! Okay. Hey, stop that! Hey! Hey! What's that? Stop that! Hey! Oh, hang on stop that! that. You've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheet. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> That's some funny stuff right there. That Russell sure can you win. I give up. I might need that. Covering 
my precious documents. Thank you, sir. You are a noble man indeed. Just give me the money, Melvin. You have earned it. And don't forget about the wenches. Brilliant! Sweet! My butt itches. I should teach lessons or something. Every one of them nothing. Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it. I've got performance anxiety. <laughs> get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again! Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Warren Inn. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> Yeah,
Welcome! Ah, yes. The discount meat. It expires at midnight. Collect that. I'm a good person. People like me. I have many friends. Ah, you come for the haircut? Yes. So good now. There's stuff lying around everywhere. know where to find me.
You better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth. It'll last for a month! And that's that. <laughs>
get into a good college. Why do I get so nervous about this? Someone put mashed potatoes. Exciting. Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me! So hurry up, because I want to be first! Oh, man. All right. Just die of embarrassment if anyone knew I bought it on sale. I really love all the Maybe didn't know I was stuck in the car. Get that badly dressed social reject out of here. You did that. I'm an actually. It's just not fair. I don't see why something like this should happen. just don't understand the minds of troublemakers. What's up? 
Hey, Beatrice, what's wrong? Two things. Firstly, my cold sores are totally acting up what? again. What? Ew, gross. Secondly, Mr. Hatrick saw me writing in my diary during class, and he took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. If anyone sees what's in there, I will just die. It's really personal. Yeah, well, nothing like having the whole school know your deepest secrets. Makes your teenage years go by in a flash. Yeah, well, you'll soon find out. Me? Why? In the diary, I talk a lot about you and me. What? There is no you and me. Yeah, yeah, there is. See, first you rescued my notes from Mandy, and then we fell in love, and oh, you brought me flowers, what? and wrote me poetry, and showed this kinder, sensitive side that soon the whole world is going to know about. We're like doomed lovers. Enough. OK, I'll get your book back. Then we can kiss. The cold sores aren't contagious once they start to scab over.
Yes, I did. And I didn't read it. Much. Much obliged. <laughs> Exactly as I'd expected. There we go. Done. You! What is the meaning of this? Stop that immediately! Thank you. 